Hey, today I want to share some of the lessons I've learned and start with why by Simon Sinek. And if I may do the honors of summarizing this book in one sentence, it would be derived from the title that people by not what you do, but why you do it. And this theme is reiterated throughout the book by talking about the success and failures of great companies such as Apple and its slogan, Think Different. The ability to challenge the status quo. And it also takes a deep dive at the human mind and shares how cognitive biases and how our perceived truth affects our human behavior. And one of the things that I was reminded was that trust is a feeling. And this reminded me and allowed me to reflect upon my life and how entitled I was living. That I felt I had the right to be given certain things such as wealth, fame, prosperity, success. The world doesn't owe me anything, but yet I felt that I deserved this right. And all the negative emotions and perceptions I viewed, it's a hurtful one, but I'm grateful to be able to recognize those perceptions because it gives more meaning to responsibility. After all, my rights are your responsibility and your rights are my responsibility because I have to uphold them. You have desires, we all have desires, but we can't make other people who we want them to be, but we do have control over our actions. And I want to share the two bookmarks I have on this. One is by Dr. Seuss and a picture of Sneetches. And if you see over here, the one that is super confident, this one, it has a little star on its belly. This one is it has a very droopy facial emotion and it's looking down. And it talks about how we are wired to be a part of the tribe. And if we have a strong aversion of displeasing others. And in fact, that seems to be true in my own life that I give more weight about perceptions of others and you need to learn to overcome that constantly but the sense of belonging is so strong after all even our ancestors have created tribes allows for humans to reproduce and this is where you feel security and comfort which is something we strongly desire everyone has different desires in their lives and we have a strong distaste of losing we want to win overcome challenges and climb hierarchies, whatever it may be, social status, wealth, fame, power, whatever it may be, makes us feel dominant, feel more secure. I think if you take a little perspective, it's understandable. I, ha I feel those 
I'm human after all. And if you take a look back at it, taking a step back, maybe it's because of a fear of death that you want fame. You want to be recognized. You want to be known before you fade away. Accumulation of wealth. Maybe you become more desirable and it brings you comfort that if you have, it's better than not having. Fear is a big growth driver for many of us. The pleasing of our parents. If you are raised by very strict parents and by certain culture standards and norms, it becomes a part of your identity you need to preserve. There's also drawbacks and dangers to that that if you stay so fixated upon ideologies then you limit yourself to that thinking and you don't look out after your blind spots group thinking is a little dangerous following any ideologies and I was reminded that in our world there's a lot of manipulation going on and I'm sure you guys realize it too no matter what I say please don't idolize me or anything I say and if you guys recognize that some of the things I say you guys can implement then I'm grateful because you guys are empowering yourselves but do not idolize anyone because they are not who you think they are but you are in control of your mind as well as the actions you choose so if I can give you the tools and to remind yourself to ourselves that we need to give ourselves responsibilities then we can truly inspire to impact and serving something that's greater than our selfish desires. I think desires itself is not a bad thing because it allows us to act, but it's without moderation and without a clarity of why. And if you don't have a why, we have to give time to it. I still don't have a, such a clear why, but I, at least I have a general direction of where I want to head. You have to mold yourself into who you want to be and it's okay if you copy because then you're experimenting and see if this is something the path you want to go towards and you could change run experiments simulations and test it out for yourself that's what it's all about again if life had a fixated goal then all of us would be competing for the same thing that wouldn't be fun what if I didn't agree with one God's version of what, how life should be lived? It's not, non, it's not a linear path which gives life so much more meaning and joy. And oftentimes I forget it. I deal with negative emotions all the time. Maybe just better at concealing it, but I do too. I lost my train of thought but if I may I want to use this book as well as this video to remind ourselves that we should teach our future generation not to follow but to lead no matter how important you may feel, you may seem. All of us is met with the wall of death. And this might be another frightening thing that could drive you into action that is positive. Again, it all depends on how you perceive the world and your cognitive biases reinforcing that. But it's, it's crucial that we uphold others 
and for me it seems like an important thing if I have the opportunity to learn then I must share it you know again I hope this helped and although this was <laughs> quite rushed and just a blurb out of my thoughts at the moment it's important to figure out your why to put time into faith and even if you don't have a why to act as if you did the power of belief is imaginable and it allows us to create such feats that is just beyond our imagination but it's possible humans have done it think about what's happening in our current world with the development of AI technology all the healthcare improvements nutrition technology we take for granted we're so good at utilizing tools and passing down information in this day of age and it's really hard also because seeking boredom it seems like the issue of boredom is alleviated through technology but we must always go back to the why even when we don't want to don't let that fire dissipate okay and I may at times lose it give up and lose to my negative emotions but I hope to get up I need to and it comes from the why alright apologies for <laughs> the madness inside my head but I hope some of this helped and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Peace.